Eric Komondi, I'm so disappointed in you. That was so stupid of you. That was very stupid. How do you even think? Wow. So, I've had to just pack so I can vent. I'm very disappointed on, in Eric Komondi. So, Steve's situation has happened. Fast forward, we know the story. Management has messed him up a couple of times. He's going through it a couple of times. So, he came out. Okay, the wife came out and spoke about it. And I decided to genuinely reach out to Steve-O. I was like, listen. So, I spoke to the guys at Motobet. I'm like, listen, Steve-O is going to do this something. But he has the numbers. What do we do? You can put him on a monthly salary. And then you sign him as an influencer. So I reached out to Steve. I didn't have Steve's number because all the numbers I have, Mara Yindi through Nini. So I went to the page, clicked over there, called that number. A guy called Vaga, Aka Peak. So I told Vaga about uh, the meeting, what's going to happen. Nini, Aka Sema Sawa. Aka Sema, we will come tomorrow morning to Kagrim back on a time. The following morning, fast forward, I get to the office, they were not there. Two hours later, I'm like, what's happening? So I decide to call Vaga. I'm like, yo, what's happening? Where are you guys? Vaga is like, hey, I'm not with Akina Stevo, but I've released them. They're coming. Let me send you the number. He sends me the number. I call the number. Whatever happened, I posted yesterday. That's how it happened. Genuinely had good intentions about Stevo, but people have decided to misconstrue the whole thing. They've changed the whatever, which is fine. I don't really care. We move. But now... What has pissed me off? Because after that I said, okay, I'm not going to associate with Steve-O. I'm not going to do anything. Wacha kila mutu basa pambane. Wale wanono wa msaidia sa msaidia. Then I see Eric has decided to capitalize on that situation for himself. And is going to visit Steve-O. And then I'm going to ask him to go to the house. I'm going to ask him to go to the this guy crazy? Are you mad? Are you stupid? That was a very foolish move. Unga, skari kilo moja, itasadia Steve-O na nini? Iyo shopping, Eric Alifanya, trust me, I pity elifu mbili. Na ikisonga sana ni 2,500. A whole Eric Omondi. Eric, Ethan, Omondi. Nikuna uja Eric Omondi nani nyinyi wewe? Sukari kilo moja. I'm so disappointed. And I'm so disappointed in all these other guys who also been there in the industry for a while. You're not doing anything to help. Munaangalia tu on the sidelines. Then Eric can pull up na skari kilo moja. Hapo anapiga kelele with that other stupid blogger there. And you, no, 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 no. Shut up. Are you stupid? Very disappointed in you. If you want to help Stevo genuinely, find the guy a job. If he's influencing or whatever that he can do. Because we all know music does not pay in Kenya. All of this, most of all these musicians in Kenya are just broke, apart from like five. All of them, they don't have anything. Music does not pay. But what pays is what you get from the music. If you don't have a show every weekend, or if you don't do one show in a while and you charge like a million shillings per show, hakuna kitu konayo. So it's influencing, which comes with the brand leverage that you have. That's divorce. When people are looking at him, people are talking about him, that is when the brands are coming through. So get him a job, even if it's 30,000 a month, but he's guaranteed he knows, I'll get this 30,000 a month, ntajipanga nao vizuri, dalipa hii, dalipa hii. Lakini unenda kupiga hapo kipindi, naskari kilo moja. Shameless. And Vaga, I'm so disappointed in you. If you didn't steal Stevo's money, where is the money? Pesa Stevo iko? You've been managing Stevo for a while. Mulina Kisumu, Mombasa, Ilestoria, Ruga, Sju, what, what happened in Minini, Sju, what, what. There's always just something that's happening with Stevo and management. Vaga, you need to come out and talk. Tell us the truth. Pesa Stevo iko wapi? Since Musa ni baka sayi, hamefanya shows ngapi, hamepaten those men ngapi, umemlipa pesa ngapi, umetumia pesa ngapi, production and everything. We need to hold you accountable. Because you only kutumia Stevo vibaya. So Vaga, find me. I'll be at Miale today from 7 p.m. I'm doing a live. Come, let's do a live with you. You have to prove where did you take Stevo's money. And all these people that are including Stevo, uh, Stevo's wife in the story. Why including her? She has no idea. Stop including her. She did a good job whistleblowing and everything. Yes. But why including her? She does not have any information how the business works. And all these bloggers that are getting Stevo. Oh, yes, you'll sit down and interview. You'll get the likes and the views. You'll get money. What is Stevo getting? In fact, Steve should now start charging for interviews. Because all these bloggers are using him. Munaka, Muna. 
my friend, you're maximizing on someone's predicament. Then you're not even a handshake. You're not being, yeah. Watch at twenty. Watch at twenty. You're exposed. You're not exposed, and then you're manipulating Stevo. Stop using Stevo like that. So shame on you, all the bloggers, starting with this idiotic one. <laughs> Most people have reached out since I spoke about that story for Motobed. Oh, link us up. No, me, I'll not disappoint you. Me, I'll work. Listen, trust me, I've done this business for a while. Okay? Majority of Kenyan celebrities are not disciplined. Once you pay them, they'll not do the job and everything. And the ones who are upcoming will say we'll do the job because they've not gotten it yet. Trust me, the minute Femi na nyanga kwa kichwa, akuna kitu na zambia mse, yende amejua. Yende obosi, yende anafanya nini, yende anafanya anakusikia madvisor, wengine nyata wana mpango. That's what happens. And then, what happens is this, you build a brand. After building a brand, products, companies and everything want to leverage on the brand a visibility that you have to market their products. Most clans and brands cannot go at once and away. Anza and na mimi, no. One thing you need to understand, as you reaching out to me, whatever, oh, link me up with them, I'll work with them, listen. Brands are not in the business of building your brand. Brands are in the business of leveraging on the visibility of your brand to market their brand. You are a billboard. So first, work on yourself. Build yourself. Then the brands will come. Patience. That's also another thing most people don't have. Patience. Pole pole. Well, you say, no, no, it doesn't work like that. But I'm very disappointed in you guys. Also mulamua, unaita Steve unapatia lufu mbili tatu. What's wrong with you? Kama una, si uwachane tunayo. Si lazima mpatia lufu mbili tatu, ndiyo postiwe na Robi Gossip Club. Yo, nime postiwe. But Eric, I'm very disappointed in you. You could have done better. Skari kilo moja. I said, there's something I want here. Bro, bro, you know, there's something you're working on. You're not even ashamed. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's do better. Anybody wants to help? Let's give Steve or Simple Boy a job. That way, we'll not have this situation again anytime soon. Let's give him a job. Any other person listening out there, let's give him a job. I decided to give up in the story, but now I'm just thinking, okay, I give up and then what, what next? So any other person... Reach out to Steve or Simba Boy. They share the number. The problem is right now a lot of people are calling them so they don't know who is genuine and who is not. And a lot of other stupid bloggers are, in, are, are, are advising him so they don't know what's true and what's not. Very disappointed. But guys, reach out to Steve or Simba Boy. Try and help him. Vaga, reach out to me. You need to clear the air. You need to tell us where Steve's money is. Eric, I'm ashamed at you. The bloggers, uh, Mulamua and every other person. That's it for today.